Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid-Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, Mid-Michigan and beyond. Welcome to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time to meet Team 250. 250, can you believe that? People said we'd never be on six weeks. Tom Crawford, my longtime radio partner, Blue Belly Tom. He is co-host of The Drive with Jack and Tom on the Team 92.1 FM and the Spotlight Radio Network. Just back from his annual family vacation at Elk Lake. Did you get enough water skiing in? I did. I got a lot of sun. I came in and I turned on Wimbledon yesterday and I heard Chris Fowler's voice. Yeah. I started getting all jacked up for college football. You weren't thinking about night. tennis either, Chris right? Fowler, Kirk Herbstreet. Yeah, let's get it done. We're less than two months away. How come you never invite me to the lake? Uh, I will next year. Would We're you trying come? to get an invitation would you come? to Crawford Indoor. Would you come? If, if, you, if you invite me, I would come. Oh, really? Whoa. Okay. Okay. This I got to wakeboarding. We got to do it. Gotta They're going to go out on yeah. a boat, and only one of them's coming back. That's the thing. <laughs> right. That's gonna tr yeah, He's going to be it. Fredo, not me. We got it. want to welcome Rico Beard, longtime Detroit radio and TV personality, Specs Howard broadcast instructor, recruiting insider, and most importantly, he is the host of the Spartan Beat, weeknights from 6 to 7 on the Team 92.1. How are you, Rico? Good, Jack. It's good to see that my seat is nice and warm for the people who filled in for me. Yeah. But I'm back. Show's going to be entertaining. <laughs> Wake up! want to also welcome Graham Couch. She was here last week talking some soccer and basketball. Graham, of course, is the sports columnist for the Lansing State Journal. And uh, by far the biggest football, that's football with a U, fan of anybody on this panel, correct? Probably. And, and by the way, on the over-under for how many shows we would get done, I think I set it at like 11 Yeah. in the betting pool, and nobody picked over 17. So this yeah. is impressive. No, we, yeah. yeah, you're right. You were accurate in that. So, you know, that's almost five years, guys, oh, when you think amazing. about that. It's, Some of the original Kudos crew to you here. Jack. We had, we had yeah. Joe Rexroad here we last week. So. Uh, There's a screenshot I have of one of the early shows that yeah. I'm on, and boy, I got one chin. You know, I'm light. I'm 33. Hope high, life worth living. Things have really, <laughs> really fallen since. Well, Adding one chin per year, or what's the deal? Yeah, well, boy, rough, uh, maybe a half a chin a year. I still like the Rutgers YouTube moment. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. So is, is this a best of discussion right now? I'm just saying. Somebody called the That name. was pretty good. Also, when you, you stole his microphone, that was oh, pretty good. Yeah. So you just yanked that baby right away from him. <laughs> we will be back in just a minute, and we're going to talk about the NBA. We'll talk about tracking a trophy and all the moves and the NBA Summer League. Jaron Jackson Jr., what a beginning for him on Monday night. Talk about LeBron James and uh, what's going to happen with the Los Angeles Lakers and some of the other moves, other teams in pro basketball. We'll be right back here on Press Pass. I am Sri Thanedar, and I had nothing when I came to America, but I worked hard became a scientist and started successful businesses. And I have been a citizen for 30 years, but Donald Trump says I am part of an infestation. Well, I'm running for governor and I'm going to fight for early childhood education, reform our criminal justice system, and we are going to keep Donald Trump's racism out of Michigan. I can help you, please. No one can help me. Some things are tough to shake. 911, what's your emergency? We have to get her to the hospital! When we take this uniform off at the end of the day, it symbolizes letting go. When it feels like there's no escape, there are people to lean on. There's help. There's always help. My son needs his mother. I am gonna get you out of here, I swear on my life. You keep fighting. When you actually save someone, there's no better feeling in the world. Spoken like a true first responder. No, it's straight out of the handbook. 911 Season 1. Available now on Fox Now and Hulu. Weekdays at 9 on Fox 47. Team Spirit, Facebook, 
more cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Tracking a Trophy segment, talking about the NBA. Now a 365-day-a-year story. Here you see Jaron Jackson Jr., nice move on the baseline, using the left hand for a basket. What a debut for Jaron Jackson. 29 points and shooting from deep. You see an NBA 3 well beyond the three-point line, moving close with the left-hand dunk, showing a very versatile game. Block shot coming up. He can do that, too. Saw that at Michigan State. And uh, today, wow. he tried uh, a dunk, <laughs> left-handed dunk. Key word. Didn't quite get there, but. <laughs> Rico Beard, how surprised were you by a 29-point debut? He was 8 for 13 from three-point land. And Trey Young, who's supposedly Steph Curry 2.0, he was 1 for 11. I was a little bit surprised, Jack, at first, but then I got to thinking about it. As far as Jaron goes, Jaron flourishes in games that really don't mean a lot. And that's not to go off against him, but it was his opening game. There was no pressure. You're playing for Memphis. Memphis is kind of an under-the-radar team. He went out there, and you saw it in his face. He had fun. Yeah. And when Jaron is engaged and having fun, he's a great player. When the pressure is on Jaron, not so much. Trey Young, I think just the opposite. Yeah. Everybody expected him to come out and be Steph Curry, and you saw his first, he airballed the first two shots. Graham, uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., the youngest player in the draft, still 18 years old. Well, and you see, I mean, I think if he had stayed, and he was leaning towards staying, he even said at yeah. one point, I mean, just a monster, he would have been in the Big Ten. That said, I think the NBA is built for him, right? If the, the floor oh, yeah. is more spread out. You see he's got uh, tantalizing skill sets. And I know for MSU fans, you constantly, they're looking back at the Syracuse game and his minutes played and all that sort of stuff. But this is what happens with a lot of one and dones, right? They are just beginning to scratch right. the surface, and then they are gone, and in most, uh, almost all of his best basketball will be in the NBA. You yeah, get he tantalized. Gonna... You just see yeah. a little bit of what the these guys can do. Uh, Miles Bridges had a rough start today. He came on. He had a terrific block on Derek Walton today, Tom. He just oh, kind of really? waited okay. and waited and waited and then swooped Extra in and swatted it. So. I, you know, my, I think Jaron Jackson has a higher ceiling, but Miles is going to have a solid 10, 12 year career, no doubt, in my mind. Talk about the big news last week. You were on the set when Darian got that message and we redid the show. Directly from LeBron. Yeah, Darian. right. Yeah, directly yeah. from Magic and LeBron, yeah. Uh, when you look at what uh, the Lakers can be now, how many more games are they going to win with LeBron if they keep signing guys who can't make a jump shot? It's an interesting approach, and I think some of it has to do, and I've heard, you know, obviously LeBron likes to have shooters around him, needs to have shooters around him. Yeah. However, he, is all, he has been in on all these moves from what I've heard, yeah. and a lot of it has to do with him understanding as he gets older his game is going to have to change more to the low block. Yeah. He wants other creators. He thinks it's harder to find those guys than other shooters so this was by design yeah. this is what he thinks will win this is not a team that's going to compete with the Warriors yet but look with Kyle Kuzma Brandon Ingram they, I would be careful about trading away too many pieces unless the right piece if you can get a Damian Lillard right obviously Kawhi Leonard yeah then you look at you know you're willing to give up a little bit more a lot of free agents next year too I, so I think this team could be Carl pretty Anthony good Towns or something yeah, like that stay, stay put what you got you're going to win 50 and you're going to look like you're on the verge I think they Probably a big a seventh or eighth seed. I think they are looking forward to the 2019 year. I think LeBron thought maybe Paul George or Chris Paul would join him, and both emphatically just was like, no, we're good. We're going to stay with our current teams. So there will be enough to be bottom feeding in the in the West, at least for the this year, next year, maybe. And, and we'll see what happens if the trade deadline gets closer with a right. guy like Kawhi Leonard, right? I mean, there's going to be pressure on the Spurs as time goes on. And, they don't want to just lose him. They don't want to just lose him, correct. 
Tom Crawford, a lot of talk about other players, and we saw DeMarcus Cousins giving the Warriors a sweetheart deal. Oh my God. One year for $5.3 million. And some guys re-upped with their current teams. Paul George surprised a lot of people staying in Oklahoma City. Chris Paul seems very happy, and why wouldn't he be, at $40 million a year to play with James Harden. And uh, might have won a championship if he hadn't gotten hurt. And Kevin Durant, of course, re-ups DeAndre Jordan. He is a Dallas Maverick. It just took a while. Trevor Ariza now with the Phoenix Suns. Uh, when you think about Kawhi Leonard, he is the big fish still out there. What uniform will he be wearing in the 2019 NBA playoffs, and what will that decision mean? Well, Kawhi is somewhat of a different duck, it seems like to me. The guy went AWOL last year, and it seems like he is doesn't want to be with LeBron. I mean, all indications are he's not going to be a Laker. He might go to the Clippers. He's well, not. In, where are the indications he's not he's into the Super. Laker. He wants to be a Laker. Uh, not, not what I'm reading about in the. In the so last. he wanted to go to LA. Well, yeah, LA. as in the Clippers. He want, He does. He's not into the Super Team concept. So I think he's just going to be the last piece of the puzzle, and it's going to be late. And who knows? He might go to Philly. Who knows? But I don't. I don't think he's going to be a Laker. I don't think he's going to be part of LeBron from all the indications of yeah. the people around him. I think he pulls a Rasheed Wallace, and he yeah. just kind of goes he and is, becomes that. He's last very similar to Rasheed. Piece. If it were me, if you asked me that question, I think he's going to end up with the 76ers yeah. because yeah. they yeah. have enough to trade. And the story today is that he said, "Hey, I would re-sign with Philadelphia." I don't know where that came from, but. <laughs> he does know Brett Brown, the coach. He was with right. San Antonio, so there's trust That's there. important, though. It's hard to trade a guy if it's going to be a rental. And if, if the team thinks they'll be able to keep him, they're going to be able to get more for him. Exactly. We'll talk a little bit about Moneyball, and we're going to talk Big Ten football. Michigan State variety coming up. Our Going Green segment next. At Graf's, we're kicking off summer right, and we're cooking on some hot car deals, too. Order for another hot car deal, Dad. You got it. Get into a 2018 Equinox for only $136 per month. That's a hot one. And Graf will give you $2,000 more than the appraised value of your trade. Or Graf will make up to six payments for you with Graf Lease Pull Ahead. Looks like we need another hot deal. Drive off a Silverado double cab for just $140 a month. Hey, I want to try this. Hot deals coming up. Oops, Chris, it's all in the wrist. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. The Student Bookstores are Green and White Shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. Every night is family night. Last man stand. Weeknights at 6.30 on Fox 47. Check this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm telling you now. You look. Sound like. Move like. I'm going to run out of horns. A young icon. Icon alert. I like that. When I pull out the candles, I need a vibe. I'm vibing. Another one. Protect the vibe. I need a vibe. Need that vibe. Hold on. Listen. Listen. Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan. Hold on. You oh, say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fighting for you. I'm fighting. I can't take it no more. It's a cold world. Bundle up. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Going Green segment, brought to you by Graf Chevrolet, a trusted friend with 104 years in the automobile business. Stop and see Matt, Mark, and Greg on West Grand River in Okemos. They'll take great care of you as I have on all six of my leases and purchases. Go green, go Graf. Moneyball, Pro-Am. 
Tuesday and Thursday. There you see Nick Ward. Looks a little different than he did. And he was on the show. He was on the drive Tuesday, Tom, while you were up north. And he said, you know, I might go for 50 tonight. And he lied. He went for 54 yeah, points in that game. So, uh, Graham Couch, you've been to as much money ball as I have, close to it. Uh, and you think about what you have seen, who has impressed you, and who has the most questions to answer before practice starts. Well, the guy I like the most that I've seen that I hadn't seen a lot of is Aaron Henry. Yeah. Uh, and I think he has a Big Ten body. I think he is somebody who's going to immediately be a 17-minute-a-game guy, at least, and, and have an impact. He, I mean, he, he looks like he's got a pretty sound uh, mature game mature games good way of putting it so that 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 I have, I've been impressed with some of the guys you don't really know until you see it yeah. in the college level but I, I'd say he stands out Nick Ward obviously loves Moneyball, right he yeah. loves yeah. the freedom of it he loves yeah. playing a little point guard so you know I am very curious to see what happens with Nick Ward and Xavier Tillman how they pair them right. how they platoon them what they're able to do there I do think they're gonna want to try to play those two occasionally together Rico, you had seen a lot more of Gabe Brown than I had, but he has some eye-popping plays, and I think the fans are really going to like him. He is. He's he's raw. Um, there's not a shot that he does not like. Yeah. I can promise you that. He will shoot the ball and shoot it, and I don't think that even Izzo can break his spirit because yeah. he's always open, and he's going <laughs> yeah. to hit the next shot. He has shooter's mentality. Yeah. It's just his game has not been honed in yet, and, and I think – Add a little weight to him and get him in a little more structured environment. And I think that you may have something come year two and year three. He could be that surprise player. If, yeah. if, if MSU can get that one player, whether it's him or Aaron Henry or uh, Marcus Bingham, to really step up, they could take that next leap and be, become an elite team this year. Gabe Brown said uh, on 92 1 last week that. Tom Izzo told him he reminds him of Morris Peterson, and it took Tom about two and a half years to break Morris Peterson of some habits and to understand that basketball was a team sport, but it all worked out pretty well. Tom, let's switch sports for a minute and talk about Michigan State football. And uh, aside from Brian Lewerke, who we're both very high on, I think Joe Bocci might be as underrated as any player in the Big Ten, and we've seen what L.J. Scott could do since 2015. Which of those players is going to have the most to do with Michigan State's chance to win a fourth Big Ten the, title? Of those last two guys, or of all, those or, two guys, or, or the others, but not Lewerke. Well, I mean, I, I think Bocci is going to be an impact, but I think there's a guy you didn't mention. I want to point out, yeah. and that's Cody White. And the reason I say that is because that guy is a flat-out gamer. You could tell he has a football background in that Northwestern game. I think it was a Northwestern game. He had somewhat of a breakout game, and he was just catching passes left and right. He almost caught for 500 yards. You just like receivers named Cody. Yeah, that's it. And then Matt Sokol might be another guy because they've got so many great wide receivers. Maybe the tight end will come into play. For Michigan State, I mean, that's going to be, there's going to be one of those two guys on the offensive side of the ball, I think, that really going to have impact for Michigan State. Matt Sokol could make a big difference because they haven't gotten much out of the tight end. Uh, no, and he's had some issues hanging on the passes. So, I, I still think it comes to what's in front of Brian Lewerke, right? I think that offensive line is the biggest question. And if they can improve uh, the tackle protecting him and, and get a little more of a push, that's what's going to separate them between nine wins and being in play for a Big Ten title. See, I think the line will hold up because yeah. they, they did a good job. It's, yeah. I think it's L.J. Scott because Michigan State, you know, the passing is great. Yeah. This is still Mark D'Antonio team. Yeah, Taking line. a look at the Big Ten schedule for Michigan State, well, their entire season schedule here. Uh, as you look at these games, which ones do you see them dropping? And could this be the season MSU finishes in the top five in football and basketball? Tom Crawford's nightmare. Oct well, October 13th and uh, November 10th, Penn State, Ohio State. I've said it on my show, Penn State is the game. You win at Penn State, all bets are off. You're a legitimate Big Ten contender. Ohio State still got a bad taste in their mouth. Mike Weber just scored again. Yeah. Can they finish in the top five? They're going to need a special player, like I said, a Gabe Brown, Marcus Bingham in basketball to get them to that level. All right. Tom, what do you think about that? Makes I, sense to I, you, I, right? I, I totally disagree with him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. We're going to talk Michigan coming up next here on Press Pass.
Save on quality supplements during the Wyckoff Wellness July Supplement Extravaganza. Through July 31st, all Wyckoff Wellness supplements are 20% off, both at our East Lansing store and online. Wyckoff Wellness carries the highest quality of supplements, including multivitamins, omega-3 fish oil, vitamin D, antioxidants, herbal remedies, and more. Supplements for intestinal health, weight loss, memory, sleep, and energy. You don't have to be a patient to take advantage of these special prices. Save both in the office or online at wyckoffwellness.com. Team One in Charlotte is celebrating Sun and Drive. No money down. Where you pay no money down on a new car. That's right, no money down on your next new car with Sun and Drive. Only from Team One in Charlotte. Find your next vehicle at TeamOneCharlotte.com. It's Gordon's biggest challenge yet. This restaurant is owned by a pair of Nimrods. The Nimrod family. The meat is stinking. But their kitchen is no laughing matter. I'm not even sure if you're fit to run a restaurant. 24 hours to Helen Beck, all new Wednesday on Fox. Get a hold of yourself. Modern Family Nightly. Weeknights at 6 on Fox 47. The Knapp Center is a historical hub for future business growth in beautiful downtown Lansing. The Eyed Company did the best they could to preserve the integrity of the history of this building while incorporating a modern open workspace. They have been prompt, they have been efficient, and they really are a friendly, great group of people that we don't have any concerns about calling them for any of our needs. Opportunities for retail, office, restaurant, and residential. Build the future as a member of the Eyed Company family. It's another fall Friday night, and your kids should be playing, playing high school football. It's a fun game, and it's safer than ever. It's safe because the rules, the coaching, and the equipment are better than ever before. As a result, serious injuries are at an all-time low. Seriously. And build strong schools, lifetime memories, and tomorrow's community leaders. And it's mother approved. It's a great game, and we want to teach it to your kids. In a world in need of integrity, Fox 47 presents a team of superheroes that will rule your daytime. The League of Justice, bringing truth, compassion, humor to a city yearning for fairness. Led by the mass crusader Judge Millian, People's Court puts naughty people in their place. Then, Paternity Court saves the day by finding out who is your daddy. The Mighty Mathis and the sizzling trio of hot beds blaze the trail for the Queen of the Court, Judge Judy. The League of Justice rules weekdays on Fox 47. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Out of the Blue segment, talking about the University of Michigan. And here you see Mo Wagner, or Wagner, as Rico likes to call him, hitting that three. He can do that. We've seen it. And uh, he's going to have a lot of fun with that short corner shot in the NBA. I think LeBron's going to appreciate that. Oh, not so good here. Marvin Bagley dunks on him. Uh, he'll have some defensive adjustments. How did, that, how did that clip end that way? I thought that, that kind of breaks the whole theme of that, doesn't it? Well, it just shows that he's got some adjustments to make. But as an offensive player, Tom Crawford, what will his presence mean to the Lakers? And could you see him becoming that franchise's Kevin Love? It, it could. You know, if you asked me a week ago, I thought he was going to be traded in some package, but they, they signed a rookie contract, so he's going to be a Laker. And, and offensively, Mo is, is very versatile. There's, it's just not, he's not just going to be a pick and pop guy and, and hit the three out there. He can drive, dribble, drive, penetrate. He can do a lot of things. Uh, but he's going to have to adjust offensively, as we saw in the last clip. So there's a relevancy of that. But I think he's going to, I think he's going to play 15 to 20 minutes before this is said. Now, depending on the other parts that the Lakers get to go with LeBron. I don't think he's going to be a Laker. Well, I mean, that's I, what I, I said think, initially. They just signed a but, rookie that, contract. That, well, that means he has to stay for 30 days, and well, then you could trade him. Chances out. are, it, it sounds to me like a commitment. That he's going to. I think he'll get a better shot playing at another team. I well, think I think Lakers, so, too. I think I, the Lakers need someone who can make an outside the shot. Grant yeah, the, no, the, the, the thing he can do, and I think he will develop into a nice NBA three-point shooter, whether he's capable of doing that as a rookie, we'll find out. But that is something that roster doesn't have a lot of, and he provides that. Will he ever be an NBA All-Star? I don't think so. But I think he'll be a, a long-time, really good rotation Starter, player. Starter, contributing player I mean, for a long time, for more than 12, a decade. Another 12-year guy yeah. that I keep talking about. Yeah, so long as you fit somewhere between the fourth to eighth man, you could play in the NBA yeah. for a long time. Tom, will he ever play well enough <laughs> that Rico will pronounce his name correctly? Uh, never. Because uh, Rico's a better man when it comes to Michigan. If he makes the NBA All-Star team, anyway. I will call him... Not and, and you would correctly. never start Mo over Nick Ward for no matter what, you know, team it was or whatever. Like well, you said. Well, let's see what Nick Ward does in the NBA. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Exactly. Rico, uh, let's talk about Michigan football now. And taking uh, Rashawn Crocodile Tears Gary out of the equation here, right? we're looking for a uh, Michigan player you who is hug this most likely to lead U of M to Indy. Michigan. Are you buying uh, Shea Patterson, now having signed with the Texas Rangers mm -hmm. for the following season? Or uh, hard hitting highlight reel linebacker Devin Bush Jr.? I'm going to go with neither. I'm going to go with. <laughs> no, I, because I'm going to go with the, kind of the same with Michigan State. Michigan hasn't had a dominant run game in a long time. Yeah. And in the Big Ten, if you control the ball, yeah. you could win a lot of games. You could win a lot of close games. And, Tom, you always say, well, they were close against yeah. Michigan State. Yeah. They yeah. don't have the horse that can carry them to the well, end. Well, you have to have an offensive so, line to start with. Well, that's true. That's so being it, remedied. But unless you can get a special type of back yeah. that can go out there. So I don't know who the running back is going to be. I don't know if it's committee. But whoever the running back is for Michigan, Ron that's going to be the guy. How about Chris Se Evans? And like right him. Now Chris Evans is the second. It's, right. the, yeah. it's the same second issue with Michigan State and Michigan. Both offensive line, the biggest question mark. Absolutely. Yeah, biggest yeah. question mark. Yeah. yeah, Shea Patterson, good against bad teams. Devin Bush may cost him a shot at Indy because he'll get a stupid penalty because he's a dirty well, player. Because the rules of the game. Well, he's a dirty player. Oh, get, dirty out, player. get out dirty of here. Dirty player. He's a walking 15-yard penalty, Tom. Graham, taking a look at the Michigan schedule for 2018, there's a big gap. <laughs> Between Tom's 12 and 0 prediction and Rico's 7 and 5 call, uh, which games do you see the Wolverines dropping uh, under Jim Harbaugh in year four? Well, it's true. I mean, Rico sees every possible loss as a loss, and Tom every possible victory as a victory. That said, uh, there are six games actually that I think yeah. are are yeah. swing games for Michigan. There are four of them on the road, yeah. so that's that's tricky. You find out a lot right out of the shoot against Notre Dame. I think there are games that, that people aren't talking about. The at Northwestern, right? The Wisconsin. Because uh, everybody wants to talk about Michigan State, Ohio State, and Notre Dame. I think there are other games. So this is a team that if things go poorly earlier or there's an injury, or, uh, they could be, they could truly be 7-5. and five. They could yeah. be, I doubt it, 6-6, six and six, but in that range. Or, I also think, or correct, they also could be near the top of that. I think they will be somewhere in the middle. This is a brutal the schedule. They're going to win nine games. <laughs> what are you, Switzerland here? Come here's on. Thing. How come nobody gets, yeah. I said they lose five games, games last year. Nine games is closer to Rico. You laugh at me yeah. now. I agree. Nine and you, three. Nine and three. But Those when they lose five years. games, nobody ever says, you know, you did say they were going to lose five because, games last year. Because because it didn't count? No, because you always slant that way anyway. And I'm right. No, you're no. not right. When no, was the last no, time no. I was wrong? The I said, you're wrong all the time. Michigan basketball went to the national championship game. Football. When you thought they were going to when you're wrong, you say you're right. I mean, you take credit for for something you never Football, said. Football, I said they would lose five. Man. Tom, last season, Michigan beat Indiana in that triple overtime game. What comes first? Indiana <laughs> finally getting off the schneid against the Wolverines or Michigan beating Ohio State? Which comes first? Oh, Michigan beating Ohio State's coming first. That's happening this year. That's happening. Well, I guess to be this 12 year. and 0 yeah. would, right? You'd have to be. November 24th in Columbus, 12 noon. Let's be nice just to throw stuff out there. No, it's a, no, because I believe in it. You got, I can believe in Santa Claus. Well, you yeah, you, the you, it's, what does that mean? Our take is of the bank segments say? coming up a little bit later. When we get back, we're going to talk oh, about the law of the jungle, the lions and tigers. <laughs> up next on Press Pass. Hater. Team spirit, face paint, more cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Hello, my name is Dr. John Braccio, psychologist. If you or your child have problems with focus, inattention, sitting still, memory, concentration. These are traits of ADHD. Visit us at drjohnb.com. The Student Bookstores are Green and White Shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. This fall, guess who's moving to Fox? Hey, what have you been doing up there? 
And he only asks questions that you really want the answers to. Tim Allen. All new episodes of Last Man Standing, Fridays this fall on Fox. I'm watching him. Weekdays at 2 on Fox 47. I need you to make me a believer. Show me what you got. Hit it! It needs heat. This is a chance for you to rise up. This is exciting. This truly was a battle for stardom. There can only be one winner. What's the correct title? Oh, 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 my. She guessed, oh, oh, oh. Get after it. Your kitchen's a war zone. I've only got 24 hours to turn this business around. Why is he still single? That's what I don't understand. She's talented, she's incredible, she's my daughter, Corinne. Yeah, I bet. You absolutely crushed it. Everything's spectacular. You've been doing nothing but knocking it out the park. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Law of the Jungle segment. Brought to you by Retirement Protection Services and longtime area financial advisor, Jack Vogler. Earn interest based on stock market performance with zero exposure to market downturns. Give Jack a call at 339-4777. That's 339-4777. I'm glad I did. Detroit Lions open training camp the end of the month, and there is Matthew Stafford. He's got some big statistics. One thing he still doesn't have, and that is a playoff win. Maybe this will be the year. They're going to have a better offensive line. He's not going to have Eric Ebron dropping passes. A lot of people think that with an improved running game, you're going to see Matthew Stafford take another step to become an elite NFL quarterback. Rico Beard, uh, Stafford was ranked as the 31st best player in pro football by his peers. Uh, what does it say that uh, they have him, just one of two Lions, that high in the top 100, a lot higher than you do. Well, first I'd say about time he made the top 100 list. Second, <laughs> the reason why, and you know, Izzo, if you're listening, earmuffs, it's the same reason why Coach K likes Tom Izzo. He beats them all the time. He's a good guy, so the other players know Matthew Stafford's not gonna beat <laughs> us, so he's a good guy. I mean, he's good personality, and he's fun to hang Brady around number with. one? You're cool. No, I'm just You're saying. Cool. I'm just saying, okay, who do we beat? We'll make them high so we look good doing he's it. Not, he's 31st. What does that mean? You don't win anything. So, great. They like you because they know you're not a competition. Well, you said he was the no 31st best quarterback. He, no, I said he's the 15th best quarterback. Right. Don't put words in my mouth. That's the ninth wow. best quarterback, according to his Hashtag peers. hater. Same thing. Yeah. Graham, what do you think about that? Matthew Stafford, can he take another step? We'll see. I mean, I do think he's putting himself in the top 10 clearly at this yeah. point. And, and the, the question is, right, is he at that point where he can carry a team? I don't think he's in that elite group. I think he is in that next tier that needs some help to win it, but he's capable of winning it. I don't know if they have enough help. It's a tough schedule this year. It is not a friendly schedule. Um, but he, he proved the last two years he has really proven something yeah. to me about his ability to play in the clutch. And I think we've all known his toughness. I, I think he's a, a top 10 quarterback, and I think – if you had a different quarterback in this market, the other 21, you'd, you'd say the same thing. How low is the bar in this city? I mean, my goodness. Isn't it about winning It's anymore? a team game. He's only on the field. Really? But, 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 if, but if he's the 31st best player, then do show me you're the 31st best player. Win a doggone game in the playoffs. Tom Crawford, where is Rico Beard nuts? I mean, you're uh, a top, you're a. Let uh, me count the I don't I don't drink the Jim Jones Kool Aid. So go ahead, you guys got you, that. You just you seem so negative about just they about don't everything. Win. Well, it's not. I wouldn't be hating on Matthew Stafford. The guy would just get get the crap beat out of him. I mean, he, I mean, he, the guy is. He's Michigan State didn't you. win when Drew Stanton was on campus either. Doesn't mean he was a lousy quarterback. Yeah. Drew Stanton wasn't making over a hundred million dollars either. So earn your keep. Win a doggone game. Well, why is he making a hundred million dollars? Because their team because could be the Lions are uh -huh. idiots. They have idiot <laughs> management. Okay, Matthew Stafford or Kirk Cousins? Who would you take? Right. I mean, Kirk Cousins. Really? Neither. Really. No. I take neither. All right, let's <laughs> switch to the Detroit Tigers for a minute. And uh, Graham, Friday night, uh, Jordan Zimmerman outdueled 45-year-old Bartolo Colon, three to one. Colon is the only player who is still in uniform who won a game in Tiger Stadium.
But the beauty of this game was <laughs> it was over so fast that they had to have the fireworks in daylight. Friday night. Have you ever seen anything like that? I haven't, although I, I do think the fireworks at the lug nuts the other night on July 4th, I could see from where I was else, elsewhere Those downtown, started started, uh, started pretty early. But, you know, it, it is kind of cool to see a game that fast, right? I mean, that's yeah. what I think. And I don't. I, I hate the idea of taking things away from baseball, like innings yeah. and other stuff it like that. I hate it that needs stuff. to be sped But up. there's got to be a way, and I think we do need to keep working on ways to have it in two and a half hours. Yeah. People yeah. want some of their night. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen a game that fast since Greg Maddox retired yeah. because right. he used to yeah. under two hours every that's game. That's right. Fred Human says a baseball game can't be too long. Four hours. Well, that's fine. It can be too long. There's no yeah. clock. That's yes. what the baseball purists Brutal. say. Brutal. Tom Crawford, have the Tigers fulfilled their primary two objectives this year? One is to improve enough that there's a modicum of hope for the 2020 season and the other one to be mildly interesting until football gets well right. you got to score runs to be interesting and and you know when Michael Fulmer's pitching they don't score they score right one run a game I mean they've they're 12 under 500 they can't score when anybody's in position yeah so not knock anybody in so I I'm a little discouraged right now they did no, no offense at all next year's the key this year they had the World Cup you had something yeah baseball didn't need to do anything next year baseball's primary purpose get us to training camp in football it'll have to the, the Tigers, Tigers are as <laughs> close to the World Series as the United States was to the World Cup that's, that's right. a very good that's point true. yeah the, yeah I'm not I'm not vouching for the US men's national team here. speaking of uh, Major League Baseball now we're here almost the all-star break and Nicholas Katsianos does not make the American League team. He might as an injury. We got hurt today, or he's out for wrist so, injury. Anyway. Yeah, I mean you've got, uh, you know, uh, you've got uh, Joe Jimenez is going to be the Tigers' representative. And the question is, is Katsianos going to be somebody they try to move? Is he somebody who's no. a piece of the future? He's a core. Right, we'll he's find that core. out. Yeah. Better be a core. Bad teams don't get players on the All Star game. That's just how baseball is. Everybody has. Every you team gotta have one. Right. You get one. You get and one. That's all they got. That's is it. their one. Yeah. We will be back in just a minute. The big picture and Tom and Rico are going to break down the World Cup. We'll be right back. <laughs> Larry? Sorry, Larry's on the road again. But you can always find him at LarrysRVService.com. Take virtual tours, apply for financing, even schedule mobile service online. Let Larry find a great deal for you at Larry's RV in Jackson. Larry, are you out there? Massive subs, fresh cut fries, and fresh squeezed lemonade only at Penn Station. Penn Station, put it in your face. Three locations in the greater Lansing area. It's a MasterChef wedding for better. Let's go. Or for worse. What are we thinking? I was thinking the broiler. <gasps> I'm not going to captain this team any longer. I'm going to run it. Enough's enough. All new this Wednesday on Fox. Download the Fox 47 News app and stay in touch everywhere you go. At Graf's, we're kicking off summer right, and we're cooking on some hot car deals, too. Order for another hot car deal, Dad. You got it. Get into a 2018 Equinox for only $136 per month. That's a hot one. And Graf will give you $2,000 more than the appraised value of your trade. Or Graf will make up to six payments for you with Graf Lease Pull Ahead. Looks like we need another hot deal. Drive off a Silverado double cab for just $140 a month. Hey, I want to try this. Hot deals coming up. Oops. Chris, it's all in the wrist. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, we have a taste for adventure because the only way to know how good something can be is to go for it. Try our veggie smoothies, island green made with spinach, kale, pineapple, banana, and mango, and Caribbean seaburst with carrots, mango, banana, orange, and goji. Adventure begins with never knowing until you try, but always expecting something great. Go for a veggie smoothie at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Eat better, feel better. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for the big picture. 
brought to you by Dean Trailways. With trips for every season, Dean takes care of the details so you can enjoy the experience, including daily casino runs and great getaways to northern Michigan and Chicago. That's Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. <laughs> Name I never on. did that. I never played that. <laughs> <laughs> There you see soccer practice, and Rico, the, uh, we can do that. All right. I mean, that's every you play that's soccer. Every World Cup game. You're, you're a soccer player. I played soccer, and that's why I, I still say we'll never embrace it. Yeah, everybody dies. Good to see those kids are training hard. But Graham will tell me how I'm wrong. It's not everybody Graham. dies. It's mostly the South American nations. So there was very little of it the, the other day. A lot in of faith in those of those games. Yeah. Just right. pray over them, and they rise up from the dead. If soccer is supposedly the beautiful game, why do they have this Shakespearean tragedy where these guys are they have to shoot them if they were horses and uh, moves that would draw a penalty in the NHL? I think it'll it'll start to go away. The the um, Soccer? The faking, the, the, the faking will start to go away with the new nice. VAR replay and, and, and that stuff. And you saw the other day, it really hurt Brazil because Neymar's reputation is somebody who flops all the time and gets shot out, you know, by, by a gun, at, you know, and, and, and ends up and is good two minutes later. He did not get critical calls late because yeah. he is the boy who cried wolf. And so you do see that start to hurt. So I'd love to see, this is one place I do think the U.S. could help soccer, right? Yeah. You, World Cup comes here in 2026. Somebody's rolling around in agony. It's not just that they're, it's the, it's the pain, it's the fake on the face. Yeah. They're up two seconds later, that's reviewed at halftime, they're red carded. You take a couple stars out, that's gone for good. I like it's it. an easy, easy fix. It's one part of the game I don't like at all. The rest of it I, I find very compelling. We have to give you credit. Last week, guys, Graham Couch called it. You had Belgium beating Brazil, winning the World Cup. How has Belgium done this? How did they beat the Brazilians? And how have they gone 24 straight matches without a loss? Well, this is their golden generation. It has been for some time. They're all in their prime, so that's been a big thing. I, I miss, I love Brazil, watching the World Cup, right? It's the, it's the blue shorts, yellow shirts, the flair. And they, they had a couple, they got one lucky goal, and they had another good goal, and then they hung on. Brazil, Brazil had another five minutes. That game is tied, and I don't think they win an extra time. But they're certainly worthy. They've got a loaded roster with guys who are in the Premier League and all the top leagues all throughout the world. And that's what the U.S. doesn't have, right? They have just a couple guys who could even be on Belgium's roster. I want to bring Tom and Rico in here for oh, please just don't. a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys uh, break down the rest of the bracket for me? Yeah. Yeah. I, heard, I heard England The rest did of the bracket. The World Cup Russia was the still semifinals. In? Russia's in? I was, I was, Russia, Russia just lost. Just lost. Just lost uh, to Croatia. Lost to Croatia. In, right? I heard England was in. Um, That's right. I'm out. Uh, some again. team overseas did something and they had a one nothing <laughs> game. And it, no, it was a 2-2 game that probably went to a shootout, right? Uh, like, how do you have a sport when it goes to a shootout? Have a winner. Happens in hockey. Have a win and I don't consider that a real sport. Well, and, and in the playoffs, whoa, whoa, whoa. in the playoffs, well, they play until the end. It, it, but it's different because in hockey, because right. in hockey you play 18 minutes a game and you have four lines. In soccer, you play the entire game. And when you go an extra 30 minutes, so you're already at an hour and 20. At that point, you're not actually deciding anything if somebody scores. It's just a fluke, fatigue goal. So at that point, you have Most a part. Goals. You have a part of the game with the with the pen with the penalty <laughs> kicks where it requires pressure the tension of it putting the ball in the back of the How net it's not it just pressure? a coin flip and great what do you mean no it's, pressure uh, ah, great goalkeeper yeah, no, no. No. if you watch the end of Croatia Russia yeah. you watch the pressure on those guys that is that is about Did those are the Michael the Jordan moments the save that the Belgian keeper mm -hmm. made on that last yeah. shot from Brazil was pretty athletic too. Uh, it's not a perfect it's finish but I don't know another these way guys are going to start playing cards any minute here uh, I want to go back to the bracket and uh, can you break down what we're going to see the rest of the way uh, Russia did lose so if England wins the World Cup in Russia is this Winston Churchill's revenge yeah it's been a while right yeah. and it's certainly it's been go back to Yalta yeah it's it's been since it was in England and in, in, uh, 50 years ago so I, I think they have a I think the Belgian France winner wins it though I think that's the best game and it, I, I'm gonna go to these two guys a little <laughs> yeah. bit here. Take because, them apart. No! because here's yeah. the thing if you watch this sport, and I get it it's taken me a long time too and I've listened to other NBA guys but if it is the closest thing great soccer at the highest levels of whether club teams in England or on the international stage the closest thing we have to like a Warriors game with the way the ball moves the quickness the 
the poetry. If you like baseball, there's turnovers. I don't all get how you you like the stagnant uh, baseball or other. I mean, I how I don't get how you don't like soccer. Game? They don't score. There's no score. Yeah, but it's the uh, way the ball moves. Any sport moves that has turnovers. Four, any sport that has four ways to say zero means you don't score uh, a lot. It, it's uh, they got it's four different ways to say zero. Because zero. hockey, there's so many chances. There's so the pucks around the crease. Hockey is exciting to watch. The playing surface is too big. Right. Make Maybe it more distant to indoor how, how much have you style? watched? How much have you watched this year? None. Well, there you go. You don't. You, you, it takes time Sports to appreciate center. it. Graham, I don't need to stick You're my hand in fire to know it's hot. You're coming from ignorance. Uh, when Michigan like wins a national championship in soccer, Tom will I'll be I'll watch fan. the third period of that <laughs> game. <laughs> Well, since well, only two two pass, periods, oh, that only a two periods. Oh, whatever. Whatever you're doing, doing football. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we will be back in just a minute. Time for some bold Thank predictions. <laughs> Our Take It to the Bank segment brought to you by Dark Bank. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of soccer, and we'll let these guys get going on football. Get them started now. <laughs> Won't be long. Hey, two Real weeks football. from tomorrow. <laughs> we're in Chicago for Big Ten kickoff meetings. We'll be right back here on Press Pass. The Shaheen Tent Sales been extended. So have the incredible tent sale deals. And you can still enter to win a new Chevy Equinox. Just come register under the tent. We'll draw the winner of the new Equinox on August 1st. Win a new Equinox only at the Shaheen Chevrolet Tent Sale. You won't get it anywhere else. Hey, that's my line. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Do you realize what's about to happen this summer? This summer, allies become rivals. Men become gods. The guy who has literally everything, all of a sudden, it becomes not enough. And Brazil, I see you, Neymar. Hey there. Welcome to the obligatory David Beckham cameo. There he is. So wake up! Wake up! The players become fans. Sign me up. This isn't just some sporting event. Sorry about that guy. I don't like it. Because this summer, nothing else matters. This summer? Yeah, I get it. Watch World Cup Soccer now through July 15th. The MLB All-Star Game, July 17th on Fox. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Working with the Eyed Company, one, is very easy to do. Two, they're very responsive to our needs. And three, as we've grown as a company, they've listened to those needs and they've helped us plan out our future in terms of growth that needs to be done at this location. It's just comforting to know I'm working with the Eyed Company, knowing that they can accommodate our growth. In that way, they're, they're an excellent partner. Opportunities for retail, office, restaurant, and residential. Build the future as a member of the Eyed Company family. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Take It to the Bank segment, brought to you by Dark Bank. Dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years, with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dark Bank for what matters most. There you see a couple of I guys put that picture here is who that are Dan both Kilbert holding a football that? over their head, ladies and gentlemen. Not exactly a six-pack with Harbs there, is it? I thought that was Casper. No, he needs to get, you know, he needs to go up to Elk Lake with me and get some sun. How many 50-year-old men, though, have six-packs? So. No, but I mean, he's just too white. I mean, he's got to get well, some Well, maybe if he had a trophy in front of him, we wouldn't see it. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, well, yeah, time for our predictions. Uh, Graham Couch, I'm what can we way. take to the bank about the semifinals and the World Cup final next right. Sunday? So this is for the next four minutes. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, I, like I said, I'm, I'm sticking with Belgium. I, uh, I think they're the most exciting team. And I think, uh, much to my chagrin, uh, Croatia is going to upset England, and it will be a physical Croatian team versus Belgium. 
Belgium wins the World uh, wins the World Cup. Okay, and a golden goal. How does this end? Is this going to be? Belgium will win convincingly. Two, convincingly. Yeah, well, two two nothing is convincing in soccer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blowout. To their man. point. <laughs> but you know what? When you said Belgium and they fell behind Japan two nothing. Yeah. Right. I said two nothing. That's like being Those behind. Are- 35 to nothing. That's an incredible yeah. comeback. Exactly. It is, it, 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 no, it is if you are the lesser team. If you are the better team, it becomes this. Yeah. You have to throw numbers forward. It gets very exciting. If you're the worst team, it's game over. There's no question. All right. Uh, Tom Crawford, what can you guarantee about MSU fans between now and the season opener, August 31st in Spartan Stadium against Utah State? Well, they, they won't really be focused on their team. They typically are just preoccupied with the other team down the road, 63 miles, and, you know, harping on how uh, Notre Dame's going to bury Michigan the night of September 1st. Actually, Michigan State fans are very guarded in their optimism. Yeah. They need to win a road game. When they win a road game, all of a sudden their fans get jacked up. That Arizona State game that you're going to go to, right. huge. If they win that game, even though it's a kind of a marginal ASU team, that's a quality win for them. It's not a quality win. They're going to yeah. win easily. Uh, I, I think it's, it's on coming. the road, though. I think it's yeah. if they win that game, then their fans won't be will be, be more confident about their Playing team. Playing in the 110-degree heat. They need to worry about, about the Utah State game. game. They do a, Utah State game is not going to do anything. Here's the anymore. thing about the 100. It's not going to be 110. The sun will set. It's no humidity, so it's the actually going to feel pretty still, good. Yeah. It's still at 95. <laughs> it's going to be hot, I trust me. And 90, it's, it's a different in, uh, type. 1986, it was just roasting. All right, Rico. What can we bank on for U of M fans? between now and September 1st in the trip to Notre Dame. Uh, U of M fans will put undue pressure on Shea Patterson to become the latest savior, a la Spate, a la O'Corn, going all the way back to Denard Robinson, Devin Gardner, number 98. They're going to put all this pressure on him. The season's going to be on him. And the second he throws the first interception, they're going to turn. I can say it's not in there. Jim Harbaugh won't let anybody know who the quarterback's going to be until they run out there uh, for the first play of the game. Will he have a better year than Tate Forcier did? Well, probably. I guess. Is he going to play football or baseball, Tom? <laughs> He's already signed yeah, with the Texas I, oh, Rangers I know organization. That, but football is first and foremost. That's, an, that's a Drew Henson type of thing. It's, that's a backup plan. Right but there. it's not quite like Drew Henson who got taken away from football. Well, that's true. It's more like Kurt Gibson. Well, it's a year from now in, the ni- in 2019. Remember Gibson signed that contract with the Tigers, but he yeah. said, I've got to be able to finish my yeah. football career. That's, true. Well, that's what Shea Patterson That's doing. what he's going to do. You're right. Be fun to watch, and we'll see if Graham can be right all the way through the World Cup. We'll be back in just a minute, and we're going to have our cool and smooth segment. Brought to you by the five Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. We'll have our weekly awards, our play of the week, our game of the week, team of the week, and player of the week. And, uh, Tom, you like co-championships? We have co-players of the week. Very different I'm sure the player of the week will be a Belgian player if you're oh, going sure <laughs> absolutely I'm we'll be right back in just a moment I'm here on press yes. pass Belgian waffles at Graf's we're kicking off summer right and we're cooking on some hot car deals too order for another hot car deal dad you got it get into a 2018 Equinox for only 136 per month that's a hot one. And Graf will give you $2,000 more than the appraised value of your trade. Or Graf will make up to six payments for you with Graf Lease Pull Ahead. Looks like we need another hot deal. Drive off a Silverado double cab for just $140 a month. Hey, I want to try this. Hot deals coming up. Oops. Chris, it's all in the wrist. Hello, my name is Dr. John Braccio, psychologist. If you or your child have problems with focus, inattention, sitting still, memory, concentration. These are traits of ADHD. Visit us at drjohnb.com. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Everybody wants to hear, what's the forecast for tomorrow? How's it gonna be when I'm taking my kids to cheerleading practice? It's a great city. Michigan is definitely a very interesting place to forecast the weather. We have changing things all the time. Jamie Foxx hosts the hit music game show, Beat Shazam, all new Tuesdays on Fox. 
Team One and Charlotte is celebrating Sun and Drive. No money down. Where you pay no money down on a new car. That's right, no money down on your next new car with Sun and Drive. Only from Team One and Charlotte. Find your next vehicle at TeamOneCharlotte.com. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for this important nerd alert. We're playing Doctor, Star Trek style. I'm in hell, Leonard. This concludes your nerd alert from the Big Bang Theory, five nights a week. Weeknights at 7 and 7.30. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our cool and smooth segment, brought to you by the five Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. All right, Team 250. That has a nice ring to it. Team 250, who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's mint explosion this week? Rico Baird, let's start with you and our play of the week. Play of the week for Team 250 and a jawbreaker, I will say this. You saw, and we talked about it earlier in the show, NBA free agency, a lot of money got thrown around. Yeah. You saw LeBron James going and everybody went nuts. Where is this guy going? What about this? Trevor Ariza gets $15 million. I don't know why. But then, all of a sudden, the Golden State Warriors showed you they're playing chess while everybody else is playing checkers. And they undersold, they went and got someone that nobody else bid it for, and they got Boogie Cousins for $5.3 million yeah. one year and said, yes, you blew out your Achilles. We don't need you right now. Yeah. Heal up. See us in April. We'll work you into the lineup. And then come playoff time, help us win this next ring. And it basically just put the rest of the league on notice. I, right now, I'm wondering, yeah. the, the biggest thing is, can the Warriors win over 74 games? But Boogie called them. They didn't, I mean, they were surprised right, to hear right, from him. So right. that's a little bit. No, and Ariza, the next GM sent him a text. Draymond Green. Draymond Green should be a GM in the maybe NBA. Maybe he will be. His phone point. is better than another 29 people. Graham Couch, what about our game of the week? Oh, I know where this is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and Ariza, by the way, it's a one-year deal, so it's, it's a veteran presence of the Young Suns team. One million for every three-pointer yeah, he missed and, in that last game. He's off the books next year. doesn't yeah. hurt them. But um, it's Belgium-Brazil because it was a final-worthy game. Yeah. And it with the intensity because Brazil got down 2-0 for the right. last 30 minutes was just incredible. And just the onslaught, uh, the Brazil Looked throwing like they numbers they had a forward. hockey power play. The whole time. Didn't and it? And... You know, they were, Belgium was just hanging on and hanging on. I think another five minutes that game gets tied. Brazil would have won an extra time. Really incredible to see that level of soccer. We don't see it very much in this country. You don't see it in the MLS. You see it only when the top club teams play in Europe. But I think if these two saw that level yeah. of soccer often enough, they would learn to appreciate it. Yeah, they're still struggling with the USA and Trinidad and Tobago. Sure, hell no. Uh, Tom Crawford, what about our team of the week? Do you have a team of the week for us? Show, sure, yeah. We uh, don't prepare for, I mean, we don't share what we're going to do in the show. I mean, literally, Rico took me, you know, chapter and verse on Golden State Warriors. For you all guys always get along. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's what they, you know, they managed to do, and they have five all-stars. They were my team of the week. But I'm going to scratch that because I can't copy what Rico <laughs> said. So I'm going to go with the Damn Los right. Angeles Lakers, Ooh. and I'm telling you why, because they got LeBron James. I'm telling you what. He is, the Lakers needed that really, really bad. This franchise has been kind of irrelevant. And, and you called that for months. You for were months. on top and the, of that and, one. and the Lakers need to be good for the NBA, in my mind. It's that last piece of the puzzle. I think the NBA is an all-time high. It's going to take him. LeBron will get enough support around him. I know they won't compete with Golden State, but Jack and, all, and Graham and, and Rico, they will be a playoff team, and they need to be. The Lakers back. Uh, maybe the New York Knicks will actually win a game or two. Who knows? Time for our player of the week. And first, I want to give a shout out to Fox 47 general manager Gary Baxter, who was a big believer in the show, in us. When nobody else was included. Uh, that's positive right, including guy. the four of us. Yeah. yeah. So I want to thank him for 250 and working for 250 more. At least he backed one winner because he's also a Lion fan. But he backed Ooh. one winner. Wait a All minute, right. Gary. I have co players of the week, Chris Fry. MSU captain, and uh, there you see uh, the gathering. Oh, All of the former Michigan State players who were there in Columbus. And uh, Darian Harris throwing some shade out, saying they're used to winning in Columbus just another day. So Ooh. congratulations to Chris Fry. Uh, and Marcus Thornhill. Yeah, I know where you're going. Five years old. He is the son of Josh Thornhill and the nephew of 
Caleb Thornhill, grandson of Charlie Mad Dog Thornhill, has an inoperable brain tumor, and there's a GoFundMe account. Uh, if anybody can beat cancer, it's going to be a Thornhill. I want to thank Tom Crawford, Rico Beard, Graham Couch. We'll see you next week, everyone. Have a great week. Is the Academy. Being here is a chance for me to stand up. Being on the show means everything. When you're doing something outside of your comfort zone, sell it. I'm gonna make it into that top 20. So you think you can dance? All new Monday at 8, 7 central on Fox. Your paycheck can be gone before you know it. We're here to help save your hard-earned wages. Discovering deals that are too good to be true. Shining a light on scams meant to rip you off. Showing simple changes that can lead to big savings. Watch Don't Waste Your Money with John Matteries. Tomorrow on Fox 47 News at 10.